Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Twin Flame Tarot reading. My name is Brittany. I'm a coach here with New World All Star, and we are going to find out what's going on with Divine Masculine. Mr. or Ms. Divine Masculine. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you guys are doing awesome out there. Maybe you guys are new here. Maybe you're not. All are welcome. I'm super glad you guys are here to watch this tarot reading today. Although, I think it'd be a lot cooler if you checked out our True Twin Flame Teachings playlist on this channel, where Kurt really takes a deep dive into what is going on with this whole Twin Flame thing, right? And it's free, it costs you nothing, and I'd say that Kurt knows what he's talking about with over 7,000 paying students to date. I digress. All right, let's get into what's going on with the Twin Flames. All right, well, maybe you guys are new here. Maybe you're not really sure what's going on. That's okay, and I'm sure you guys have, you know, just scoured the internet for information about Twin Flames. Totally normal. Everyone does it. And a lot of the information out there, as well-meaning as it may be, is not really accurate. All right. So the one thing, however, that everyone can pretty much agree on is that twin flames are one soul in two bodies. All right. Cool. How does that happen? All right. Time is not real. Everything is happening now. And the soul, it incarnates, it reincarnates, it deincarnates. So essentially, your twin flame is just a simultaneous incarnation of you happening now. It's all that it is. You know, the mind wants to create this story about it and you know, say that there's a mission and all this stuff. No, no, there's not. <laughs> it's all just happening now. That's all it is. It's just you over there. It's you having another experience over there. That's it. It's all that it is. So when we meet our simultaneous incarnation or our twin flame, there there's a couple things that happen. First of all, there is a polarization that occurs in the mind of the simultaneous incarnations. And it's not about the content of the mind. It's about energy, right? This is based on a system of energy. It's not based on gender at all. You know, the labels, divine feminine, divine masculine, they're not bad. They're also not entirely accurate. Rather than looking at the label, rather than looking at the gender label, right? Look at the duality of the terms. Sounds a lot like the yin and the yang, the alpha and the omega, right? Now the mind might have preconceived notions or biases or narratives wrapped around those labels. That's all just the mind. It's not ultimate reality. It's just the story of the mind. Right. Getting a little interesting here, isn't it? When you see all the labels and the stories and the narratives and the infinite layers of the egoic mind. It's all that it is, though. It's not good. It's not bad. It just is. Now, the, the label, divine feminine, divine masculine, not bad, but it is pointing you at a deeper spiritual truth, which is duality. Duality is there. It's manifested reality. It's up, it's down. It's hot, it's cold. It's good, it's bad. It's, you know, it's duality. <laughs> and so <clears throat> duality is not what you are though, but duality exists so that consciousness could experience itself. Right? So we forget who we are as consciousness in order to more deeply experience duality so that we can more deeply experience ourselves. Eh, you know, it'll make sense later on. 
And if, and if it makes sense now, right on, cool. That's awesome. And if it doesn't, that's okay too. Totally fine, not a problem. It's not a judgment, it's just what is, right? Now, so you've met your twin flame. There is a polarization that occurs at the level of the mind and not about the content, but energy, which is you push and they pull away. Energy, at the level of duality, there is this energy where you push and they pull away. Okay. So which also kicks off the dark night of the soul or what they call in the twin flame community, the dark night of the soul, which is really what is referred to in traditional Zen spiritualism as ego death. What the hell is that? It's when the mind has been found to be illusory. You are not your mind. You're not the thoughts. You're not the thinker. You're not the emotional experience. All of that is there and it's valid, but it's not who you are. It's something that comes and it goes. Emotions, they come and go. Thoughts, they come and they go. Yet there you remain, okay? All right. And that is why we meet our twin flame, which is to awaken to the truth of our nature that we are consciousness. All right, guys. And like I said earlier, if you want to take the deep dive into this, definitely check out the True Twin Flame Teachings playlist on this channel on New World All Star on YouTube. It's very worth it. Kurt has put up so much free content for you guys. It's free 99. Check it out. Check it out. All right, guys, let's get into this reading. At the bottom of the deck, the Three of Swords for Divine Masculine. Oh, shit. All right. Three of swords. I mean, look at the card, guys. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys are into tarot out there, so you know what the three of swords means. It's heartbreak. It's sadness. It's disappointment. It's just emotional, just, just gut-wrenching heartbreak for Divine Masculine. All right. Let's get into this more. In the recent past for Divine Masculine, we have the five of wands reversed. All right. So really just seeing that, you know, like they're putting, they're, they're just, they're just letting go of the fight. They're letting go of the fight. They're letting go, like they're seeing the futility in conflict and competition, which is actually a really, really beneficial thing I see, right? It's all about perspective, but you know, the quickest way to end a fight is for one person to just stop fighting. And really the fight's always within the mind itself, right? And divine masculine is seeing that futility and just coming to this place of acceptance in their life experience, in every aspect of their life experience, right? Whatever's going on, they're just accepting it. It doesn't mean that they're agreeing with it. It just means that they accept that it is. All right. Now, in the recent past for Divine Masculine in the 3D life situation, so-called karmic situation, we have the Four of Pentacles reversed and the Five of Cups. All right, Divine Masculine, more just transcending some thought patterns or at least seeing that they're not serving them. They're really letting go of the attachment to like material possessions and the egoic pursuits of material wealth and all of the attachment to status. And they're just seeing it as dumb. They're just like, this is silly. Why am I doing this to myself? You know, if it's not making me happy, if it's not bringing me joy, why am I doing it? And really just taking some time and recognizing all the ways that they have basically fucked up in their own life experience and created their own misery be like aligning with these egoic pursuits. And they're really taking some time to reflect on that and really going within and, and doing that, that I guess to them, this, this healing, which is really just a time of rest and reflection, you know, and just basically licking their wounds and saying, well, I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> All right, now, in the recent past toward you, Divine Feminine, all right, we have the Magician reversed and Justice. Okay, so they're not really clear on what direction they want to go in with you. 
And and even if they are, they're getting more clear on it, but there is like the thoughts are that they want to move towards you. But the action is that they're they're taking a step back once again. And I think that there's just this overall in their entire life experience when it comes to their karmic situation and when it comes to you, they're really taking a step back in the recent past and just kind of reflecting on things. And, you know, they might not be telling you any of this. In fact, I mean, they might be ghosting you. They might be just not in contact with you, whatever. But this is what's going on. The cards don't lie. All right. And they're really seeing with justice coming up there. They are seeing cause and effect. They are seeing the cause and they are seeing that they have caused with their actions the effects of what's going on in the situation that you guys, you know, find yourselves in whether, you know, you're in contact or not, but they, they're starting to take some accountability for the pain that they caused you in the recent past, right? And they're taking some time to reflect on that, which one thing I didn't talk about in the beginning of this video is that as you transcend the mind, as you come to experience that you are not the mind, all those things I talked about, that is when your twin flame, the physical manifestation of you over there, does want to come and be in your life experience physically, which Divine Feminine, you guys are apparently doing an amazing job of detaching and transcending and experience the truth, experiencing the truth of your nature because Divine Masculine is really energetically moving toward you. And that's how it works. As soon as you, you don't think about them, you're not focused on them, you're just doing your ascension and then bam, they just show up and want to hang out all the time. All right. Now, currently for Divine Masculine, we have the devil. All right. So it looks like Divine Masculine is really starting to face the darker aspects of their egoic mind. Some of the more painful aspects. All of the nasty little patterns around addiction. Maybe it's like a substance thing. Maybe they drink too much. I don't know, whatever it is, the, the addictive patterns of mind, the addictive patterns of behavior, the self-limiting beliefs, and all the dark thought processes down there in the subconscious are coming up to be noticed by Divine Masculine, you know? And however Divine Masculine is handling that is, you know, really just what Divine Masculine is doing. But that is what is going on in the energy. Now, currently in their 3D life situation, so-called karmic situation, we have the Nine of Cups reversed and the Page of Swords. Okay. So Divine Masculine is really just looking at their life situation, at their 3D life situation, karmic situation, and really feeling very unfulfilled. Like they have everything that they want. They have everything that they want. Like everything's cool. Like maybe they have a, a, a good place to live. Maybe they're in this like romantic relationship that on the outside looks like what they wanted, right? They have the car, maybe they have, I don't know, whatever. They have all the stuff that the mind said that it wanted, yet there's this feeling of unfulfillment. There's this this feeling of just not being satisfied. And with the Page of Swords reversed, it seems like uh, Divine Masculine might be kind of trying to jump out of that situation and into another situation rather impulsively and not really thinking about the consequences. And uh, I don't know, Divine Masculine, maybe slow down. <laughs> But, you know, it's just what's happening. It's okay. It's okay. Oh my gosh, guys. Seriously, until November 27th, we have a sale going on at newworldallstar.com. Get 30% off when you pay in full at the checkout and use coupon code GOBLACK for Black Friday over at newworldallstar.com. All right, currently toward you, Divine Feminine, we have the Six of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Okay, right. So Divine Masculine is really 
being pulled towards you and really overcoming all the patterns of mind that have kept them from you physically, right? Because you are transcending the mind itself. You and your twin flame are not separate. Separation is the illusion. You literally are union, right? And the more that you experience that and the more that you come to understand that, the more that the physical person is energetically pulled back into your life experience, okay? And that's just how this works. And that it looks like you guys are, you divine feminine are doing such an amazing job of transcending and detaching, all right? And, you know, divine masculine is, is moving towards you and leaving behind the story. Leaving behind the story, they, they don't care about all the narrative, who did this, who did that. They don't give a shit. They just want to be around you. Now, they might not be telling you, but energetically, they are definitely moving towards you. And you never know. There could be a million things in the way. They could be married. They could, they could be on the other side of the world. I don't really know. But I'm just saying, energetically, you are detaching you are detaching from the mind, you are ascending, you are on your spiritual journey, and they are energetically pulled toward you. All right, guys, we are going to do an oracle card. And while I'm getting that ready, I want to invite you guys over to newworldallstar.com to check out what we have to offer. All right, and don't forget, guys, until November 27th, get 30% off either one of our world-class coaching programs when you pay in full at the checkout and use coupon code GOBLACK. It's our Black Friday special. We never do this much of a discount, so get it while the getting's good, all right? All right, guys. Now, when you go over to newworldallstar.com, I want you to check out what we have to offer. We have the Manifest Your Dream Life online video course for anybody who wants to manifest their best life. And we have the Introduction to the Journey online video course for Twin Flames, where you can transcend the mind, live your best life, and byproduct of that is that your Twin Flame comes back and wants to hang around you all the time, but it, you are just doing your thing. You're detaching. Your, your consciousness is expanding and everything's amazing, and your Twin Flame comes back and wants to be around you. All right, and when you go over to newworldallstar.com, I want you to check out the gold package, guys. It's really the best value. It's super affordable. Even without the discount, it's like three or $400, depending on which package you get. Right now, until November 27th, get 30% off when you use coupon code GOBLACK and pay in full at the checkout. And if you can't do that, no problem. We have payment plans available where we take the full package price. We split it into six easy payments. You make your first payment, you get instant access to the videos. Once you watch the videos, you can get into the calls and the gold package, the best value, actually includes two months of the group coaching calls in the package price. It's really amazing. And the group coaching calls are great, guys. It's so fantastic. So once you watch the videos, you can get into the calls. The call times are staggered. So no matter where you are in the world, you can definitely jump into a call. And if you still can't, no problem. We record the calls so you can listen to them at your leisure. And they're so fantastic. And you can get into our closed secret Facebook group for paying students where everyone in there is absolutely amazing and just transcending and just living their best life. It's so fantastic. Guys, come over to newworldallstar.com and work with us. It's such a fantastic journey and we would love to work with you. All right, let's do this oracle card. Ooh, right there. Or if I could get a hold of it. The royal you. I love that. That's I love this oracle deck. All right, the royal you. Do you know what it means to express personal sovereignty in your life? It's about how you hold your inner sense of worth and integrity, secure in your belief that you have a unique purpose. It's about feeling comfortable in your own skin, knowing who you are, and that nothing outside you can challenge your authentic self, the hard-won seed of awareness that you have earned. You are the ruler of your mind. And you're being invited now to consider what discipline you need to apply to your thoughts. 
Are they consistent with the values and beauty you intend for your life? It is important now to keep your focus on what is right and good for you as well as others. Challenges in your life at this time, no matter how large or small, must be met with a measured response. If life sends you a challenge, can you speak up and set your boundaries with grace and surety? Calm, intelligent leadership is called for now. Sovereigns know when to plan their battles. So stay out of unnecessary skirmishes and strategically wield your personal power. Now is the time to lead from your heart, from your authenticity and integrity. Hold your head high and know your worth. That is the mark of a true sovereign. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love that. And it is. It's very important to pick your battles, guys. And sometimes you do have to choose to stick up for yourself, to say what you say what you mean, defend your boundary. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, guys. I, I just think that that's wonderful advice for, for all of us. All right. Moving forward for Divine Masculine. In the near future, we have the Knight of Pentacles. All right. So... They're really starting to, to get focused and to set some priorities and they are moving forward. And I would say moving toward you, Divine Feminine. All right. Now, in their 3D life situation, so-called karmic situation in the near future, we have the Four of Cups and the Nine of Wands reversed. So really just want, going within and contemplating, but it's a very peaceful contemplation. And they're just kind of sick of what's going on in their karmic situation in the in the past, in the recent past, or the currently, right? Time, man. <sighs> All right. And they're just kind of going within and contemplating their next moves, but from a very peaceful place, a place of acceptance, a place of seeing where they've made mistakes and moving forward from them. All right. And just really taking some rest, just taking some much needed rest. There's been a lot going on in divine masculine's 3D life situation. And they're just like, you know, I'm just, I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling. Now in the near future toward you, divine feminine, we have the high priestess and death. Okay. The high priestess is all about being connected to source, being connected to that place of intuition, which is source itself, right? And that is where you and Divine Masculine are one. You literally are union, all right? And death is just this permanent change, right? Leaving behind the story, leaving behind the past permanently, permanently. It's a new chapter for you and Divine Masculine in the near future. And that is all because you are transcending the mind, Divine Feminine all right, guys, this has been an amazing reading. I love you guys so much. Please give us a like. Please hit subscribe. Please hit the bell notification button so that you are notified anytime we post one of these amazing videos. I love you guys so much. Go over to newworldallstar.com. Get 30% off until November 27th, guys. This is wild. This is so crazy. This is more than we ever offer. So take advantage of it while you can.